Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. The teams then, Barcelona against Arsenal. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. the lineups for this game Away. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? I'd say Petr Cech. I'm trying to come up with a, a flaw in his game and I can't. Dependable and strong in, in every aspect of a goalkeeper's job. And he breeds confidence for his defence. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Monreal. He's in, surely! And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Check gets it upfield. Luis Suarez plays it into the channel. Shoots! He can get that clear. Uh, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here, it's all broken down. Turns and goes back. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. And that all stems from great vision, you know, what a delightful little ball over the top that was. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. And it's Luis Suarez. Chance! Luis Suarez! Koscielny knocks it away. This is promising. He's got away with one there. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. Well, when the keeper lost control of that, usually a striker would, would react first, so that defender deserves praise. Mesut Ozil. Sergio Busquets, great challenge. Messi, that's really nice. Now, what next? Goal! Barcelona! Barcelona are in front! Smartly deceptive, what quality. Well, the goalkeeper would have helped to make his mind up on how he was going to finish it.
Barcelona take the lead. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. And the defence can get it clear. Hits one! Clears it out of harm's way. And the half-time whistle goes. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Barcelona carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Oxlade Chamberlain. That's a throw. And that's another throw. Iniesta battles to win it back. Iniesta very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Good save, really well read. Away from immediate danger. It's an awful look promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. He's away. Messi hits it. Monreal gets good distance on it. Sergio Busquets tries a long pass towards the front. Looking to force his way through. No mistake! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Oh, it's lovely to see the art of disguise alive and well, but the keeper straight into no-man's land. Barcelona get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Oh, good stop, it had to be. And he's there to make a great save. Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me, and, and yet he just coped with, with room to spare. Clearance and very necessary. Rakitic brings the ball forward. That's gone a long way up and away. Sergio Busquets pumps it upfield. Now it's Iniesta. Can he find a finish now? They are rampant! And surely that settles it! Given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's it's pretty late. Barcelona take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Oh, the defense got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. 
Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. Welbeck tries to switch the play. Gabriel does well there, alert. Looks like a good ball through. Surely he scores! And he's on his way! Neymar! Neymar! One of a type! He's brilliant! Results no longer in doubt! It's just about how many! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Arsenal look as though they're about to make a change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but... And the referee brings it to a close. Barcelona win at home. 90 minutes still to play on the road, but they have a lead to cling to. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen?